All right, welcome everybody to week four. Week four of fantasy football recap with the Tuesday morning tears. So this week was an interesting week for a lot of us. Uh, we had one 3-0 uh, player or one 3-0 team. And uh, let's see how they did this week. Okay, so first up this week, we have Fear My Johnson versus Stud Finders. So it was Mike Allen versus myself, Leo. And uh, conclusion of this game was a close one. All I gotta say, it was a super close game, and uh, it was a nail-biter, at least for me that was. And my top player this week, it's, uh, it's a shock, but it was CJ Spiller. And the reason why I say that is because CJ Spiller didn't really get that many touches in the game. He had a 80-yard overtime touchdown pass, which won me the game. He, had, he gave me 16 points. Those 16 points were better than all my other players that I have right now. So my top player, CJ Spiller, thank you for the touchdown. Drew Brees, again, congratulations on those 400 touchdowns. Good job. On the other side, here my Johnson, your top player, and Andy Dalton. Andy Dalton with 321 yards and one touchdown pass. So not bad, but unfortunately though, the score does not lie. Uh, I did come up with the win, 71 to 68, which was uh, very close. That's all I gotta say, very close. Uh, Mike, uh, on your bench, Drew Brees with 22 points, and Vincent Jackson for Tampa Bay, 20 points. You would've played those guys, I would've lost. And you would've got that first victory. Sorry Mike, I really lucked out again. So uh, man, better luck next time though. All right, next up this week, we had In Your Brown Eye versus Pleasure Treasure. So Pleasure Treasure, top player, our top two players was Aaron Rodgers and also uh, Hopkins as well. So between those two players, they got you 15 points. So uh, Aaron Rodgers with 224 yards with one touchdown and uh, Hopkins with nine receptions for 157 yards. So not bad day for those two. Uh, on the other side, in your brown eye, we had Sam Bradford with the Phillies uh, as your quarterback and he went for 270 yards with three touchdowns, so 23 points alone. Not bad for Sam Bradford. I didn't have that much hope for him. I really thought he was going to get injured right away. Uh, uh, Albert, you've had a lot of issues with injuries this year. And uh, let's just hope he stays healthy for you because you need all the healthy players. On the bench, uh, Chris Ivory. Chris Ivory for the New York Jets. Uh, pleasure Treasure. 166 yards and one touchdown. Uh, I probably would recommend uh, putting Ivory in, but he got you 22 points. Not bad. So. Uh, Maybe put him in this week, I don't know. Other than that though, the end of this, the, the end of the score for this week, or this two games, In Your Brown Eye versus Pleasure Treasure. Pleasure Treasure did win with 88 points, In Your Brown Eye with 54 points. So not a bad game, and, but Pleasure Treasure did come out the way. Next game we had Team Blackout versus Come On Gamble Man. So between these two, it was a tough game for Team Blackout. Only reason why, because he only scored 37 points. 37 points is not a lot of points, and that's definitely not going to win you this week. Uh, on the other side, Gambleman with 93 points. His top player was uh, his kicker, uh, Cam Zanero. Cam Zanero, five field goals with, and one extra point. So he got you 17 points. Not bad. Your quarterback, Cam Newton, did good as well. He is at 124 yards with two touchdowns. So good on Cam Newton. On the other side, Team Blackout. Joe Flacco just did not come through for you. He had 189 yards, one touchdown, and he also had an interception. Um, yeah, Keith Miller, Keith Miller, zero points. Unfortunately, only one reception for one yard, so he did not help you out there. Uh, Miami's defense as well kind of kept you down. Negative one point, that's not gonna help you, man. I would definitely, maybe swap out the defense. I think they have a bye this week, so you should be fine. Hopefully you have an extra one. Uh, Rashad Jennings, though. Rashad Jennings, you did have him on your bench. Sorry, guys, the fly where I'm gonna keep shooting him off. Are you gonna go by the camera? Uh, whatever. And uh, Rashad Jennings with 14 points, Hillman with 16 points, and Nick Foles with 18 points. All of those guys are on your bench. I would definitely consider playing them this week. They would definitely bump that score up a lot more, that's for sure. But at the very end of the game, though, Team Blackout with the loss with only 37 points. Nick Gamble with 93 points. So congrats on you, Gamble. Next up this week, we have Beast by Ray and about to force set in. So Beast by Ray was 3-0, and uh, I say was because he lost this week. 
This week it was a it was a close one for a bit, uh, but he ended up with 66 points. About to four set in with 97 points. Top players for about to four set in was Philip Rivers with 26 points, 358 yards, three touchdown passes. That was really good. Uh, also, Le'Veon Bell with 20 points with 129 yards and a touchdown as well. So good on you, Le'Veon Bell. Uh, other one as well, your defense. About to four set in your defense, Carolina with 15 points. Uh, they had a touchdown, four interceptions, a fumble recovery, and they only allowed 23 points, so not bad. On the other side, beats by Ray, unfortunately, Tyrod Taylor, 13 points. He did have 274 yards, did have an interception, and he only had one touchdown. So he only got you 13 points, which isn't bad, but uh, compared to Phillip Rivers, Phillip Rivers went off with 26 points. Adrian Peterson on your side, uh, only got you 81 yards with one touchdown, 15 points. Good, but I'm sure Peterson could do a lot better. On your guys' bench, your top players on your bench were not really a lot of people, people, people. So uh, Michael Bick on uh, about to force in with 11 points, Pierre Garçon with 11 points as well. Uh, Sam, that that bye week with Tom Brady might have might have cost you. If you didn't have a bye week this week, I'm sure you would have uh, done a lot better. But uh, it happens, you know. We all have bye weeks. Other than that though, like I mentioned before, Sam, you did get that first loss, you are now 3-1, and one, and I get to play next week, so I'll talk about that later. And uh, so congrats to the Bouts Force sitting in with 97 points, and Beats by Ray with 66. Next up, we have Trickle Down Banging versus Team Shelby. So I gotta say congrats to Team Shelby because he demolished Trickle Down Banging. Peter, 68 points. And uh, Shelby, Team Shelby, Tyrese, you had 123 points. Your top player, Devontae Freeman for Atlanta. Reason why I'm upset about that is because I have Matt Ryan and he decided to hand the ball to him all game. Why, I don't know, but he did. Uh, but not bad though, he got you only 68 yards, but he got you three touchdowns. He got you 32 points alone. Alone. That's better than some of my players I have right now. Man, this, this spot is gonna bug me, guys. Uh, other than that though, your other top player, you had Hill from Cincinnati with 40 yards and three touchdowns. And you just had a, a couple of top players today, which was not bad. On the opposite side, trickle down banging your top player was Macklin with 11 receptions for 148 yards and no touchdown. Sorry, Peter. On your bench, uh, your top player for your bench uh, was Jim Gim Jr. with 13 points, two receptions, 18 yards, and two touchdowns. Not a, not a bad pick. I definitely recommend maybe putting him in. Especially with numbers like that. Uh, other, other than that though, Peter, Peter with a lot, 68 points. Uh, Team Shelby with 123 points. That was a slaughter. Peter, sorry. Terry, good work this week. Alright, last game for the week. We had Team Sanchez versus You Cannot Randall This. So when it comes to Team Sanchez, your top player was Russell Wilson with 15 points. 15 points, 287 yards with one touchdown. On the other side, can't handle this. Your top player was your kicker, Justin Tucker. That was a ridiculous game, by the way. Uh, went all the way down to the end, but Justin Tucker with 15 points, three field goals, two extra points. Not bad, but you need more players to produce more. Um, I just gotta say, Marshawn Lynch, damn, that sucks. He just out at the very end of the game and you did not know whether, whether to leave him in or take him out. Zero yards. I think he was eating Skittles up at, the, at, his, at his back watching the game. Uh, but you did end up with only 54 points. You can't handle this. And Team Sanchez with 73 points. So uh, Team Sanchez did get that win. Your bench players. Team Sanchez with Gurley. Todd Gurley, 146 yards. Got you 15 points. Uh, Team Sanders, I'm glad you did not play Kansas City's defense because they got you negative six points, which is horrible. You had Oakland, which Oakland did really good. They got you 10 points. Uh, they had an interception, two fumble recoveries, and only allowed 22 points. Not bad. On the other side, can't handle this. Your top players on your bench was Wallace, Manning, and Eddie Royal. So you had a lot of players you probably could have put in for Marshawn Lynch, but you know what? You can't expect that. You know, it happens. You you put somebody in, but you don't know if they're going to play. And tough, tough on you, Danny, but you did lose this one again. Team Sanchez with 73 points, 54 points, or you can't handle this. So now that we are in week four, we have already have one month of football already played. So I'm going to go over the standings. We are so far 
on week four. So for first right now, and uh, tied for first actually, we have Pledge of Treasure. He is 3-1, and overall points, 423 points. Uh, tied for first is well foul support set in. 3-1, 387 points. Beast by Ray, also 3-1, with 346 points. Also tied for first as well, Stud Finders, 3-1, 283 points. I, I don't know how I'm winning on these, that's for sure. Tied for fifth. Tied for fifth place, we got Come On Gamble Man with 2-2, two two with 419 overall points. Team Shelby, 2-2, two two, 381 points. Team Sanchez, 2-2, two two, and 348 points. Can't Randall List, 2-2, two, two two, 333. In Your Brown Eye, 2-2, two and two, 326. Uh, trickle Down Banging, tied for 10th, 1-3 with 340 yards. Tied for 10th, Team Blackout, 1-3, 275 yards, or points, I keep saying yards, but I mean points for all those guys. And last, Fear My Johnson, 0-4, oh with 276 points. So uh, that's the breakdown, that's the standings. So far, as of week four, we still have a long, long, long season, guys. And there's going to be a lot of stuff going on this last week. When it comes to injuries, there have been so many injuries this last week and this last month alone. So the injuries, you know, they do make a big, you know, put a big dance in our league with all the players that we have and everything like that. But it happens. Injuries are going to happen, and we just have to learn to play with all those injuries. Uh, so that's the that's the end. That's the end of this week four breakdown. So week four breakdown. Super excited. I uh, cannot wait for this next week. It is going to be pretty crazy. We'll see how that goes. And uh, I meant to say, Sam, Sam, I've been I've been debating about putting in Jared Hain. <laughs> I know I said I was going to do it, but I don't know anymore because I really want to beat you, and I really don't think Jared Hain can do anything. But you never know. I'm going to make a game time decision. Just wait. You will see. And to everybody else. Good luck on week five. I hope for the best and hopefully nobody else gets injured because we can't we can't have any more injuries. Other than that though guys, good luck in week five and I will see you guys next week.